In this video, let me consider one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. Find Thevenin's equivalent circuit to the left of the terminal for the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. Here we have terminal A and B. We have to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit at terminal A and B. Let me redraw the circuit. So in this circuit, we can see that there are two loops. This is one loop. This is another loop. Let me assume that current through this loop is say I1. So here we can observe that terminal A and B is open. So when this terminal is open, no current flows in this branch. So this entire current IX flows through 3 ohm register as well as 4 ohm register. So I will assume that current through this loop is say IX. So now in Thevenin's theorem, first we have to find the voltage between terminal A and B that is known as Thevenin's voltage VTH. So here VTH is nothing but voltage across AB or voltage across 4 ohm register. So 4 into IX gives VTH. So for that first we have to find IX. So here I will simplify this using loop analysis method. So here between two loops there is a current source. If there is a current source between two loops we cannot apply KVL. In that case we have to analyze current source first. Let me analyze the current source. Here we have current dependent current source that is 1.5 IX. It's a current source dependent on current IX where IX is the current which flows through 3 ohm register. So I can simplify this as 1.5 IX is equal to this current is equal to IX minus I1. IX minus I1. I have taken IX first because 1.5 IX current source direction and this IX are in same direction but I1 is opposite so it is minus I1. So I can simplify this as 1.5 IX minus IX is equal to minus I1. This is nothing but 0.5 IX is equal to minus I1 or I can write Ix is equal to minus I1 divided by 0.5 or I can write Ix is equal to minus 2I1. So once if we analyze the current source, now we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If we remove this from the circuit, we can observe that there is only one loop. This entire loop is known as super loop. Now we have to apply KVL to super loop that is apply KVL to super loop. So here super loop is A, B, C, D, E, F, A. This entire loop is known as super loop. So let me start from the 6 volt voltage source. Keep that 6 volt on left hand side. 6 is equal to voltage across 5 ohm register is 5 into I1 then current will flow through 3 ohm register voltage across this is 3 into IX plus 3 IX plus we have voltage across 4 ohm register is 4 into IX 4 IX or I can write 6 is equal to 5 I1 plus 7 IX or I can write 6 equal to so IX can be replaced by minus 2 I1 that is 5 I1 plus 7 Ix is nothing but minus 2i1 or 6 equal to 5i1 minus 14i1 or I can write 6 equal to minus 9i1 or i1 is equal to minus 6 by 9. So it gives minus 0 0.667 amps. So from so we found the value of I n, I1. Now let me calculate I x. So therefore, I x is equal to minus 2 I1. That is minus 2 I1 is equal to minus 2 into minus 0 0.667. So solving this will get I x is equal to 1.333 amps. So now let me calculate VTH. So VTH is nothing but 4 into IX. So therefore VTH is 4 into IX that is 4 into 1.333 
or I can write Vth is equal to 5.333. So this is Vth which is 5.333 volts. So now we have to find the Thevenin's resistance that is RTH. So if there is a dependent source in the given circuit, then we cannot find RTH directly. In that case, first we have to find short circuit current ISC. So short circuit current is the current which is obtained by shorting terminal A and B. So now we have to short the terminal A and B. Once if we short this, the current will start flowing. That current is known as short circuit current. Now let me redraw the circuit. This is the same circuit. So here now we have to short this terminal A and B. Let me short this terminal A and B. The current through this will be known as ISC or short circuit current. Now we have to find ISC. Then we have to find RTH where RTH can be obtained by VTH divided, divided by ISC. So already we have found VTH. Now we have to calculate ISC. So here we can observe that the terminal A and B is shorted. So because of this short circuit, the entire current will flow through this path. So no current will flow in this branch. That is zero current will flow in this branch. Because of this shorted path, entire current will flow through this path. Now we can say that this 4 ohm can be ignored as no current flows in this branch. So now I can say that the current ISC will flow this entire loop. So let me assume current through this loop is say I and current through this entire loop is nothing but ISC. So this ISC is nothing but IX because IX and ISC are flowing in the same loop. So IX is nothing but ISC. So here I can write IX is equal to ISC. So this will be nothing but 1.5 IX is nothing but 1.5 ISC. Now again, I will simplify this. So here there is a current source between two loops. So I can write 1.5 IX, IX is nothing but ISC is equal to, we have, so this ISC and this are in same direction. It is ISC minus I or I can write 1.5 ISC minus ISC is equal to minus I or I can write 0 0.5 ISC is equal to minus I or, or I can write I is equal to minus 0 0.5 ISC. So now we found I. Now let's calculate ISC. So now once if we analyze the current source, we have to assume that this is removed from the circuit. If you remove this from the circuit, we can see that there is only one loop. That entire loop is known as super loop. So let me apply KVL to super loop. That is apply KVL to super loop. That is 6 is equal to voltage across 5 ohm resistor is pi i plus voltage across this 3 ohm resistor is 3 ix or isc. 3 isc. Let me simplify 6 is equal to 5. So i is nothing but I can replace this i by minus 0.5 isc plus 3 isc or I can write 6 is equal to minus 2.5 isc plus 3 isc or I can write 6 equal to 0 0.5 isc or isc is equal to 6 divided by 0 0.5 so it gives 12. So therefore, IS is equal to 12 amp. So once if we calculate ISC, now we have to calculate Thevenin's resistance that is RTH. Therefore, RTH is equal to VTH divided by ISC or already we have found VTH which is 5.333. 5.333 divided by ISC which is nothing but 12 amp. 12. So simplifying this we will get RTH is equal to 0 
four 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 one or we can write RTH is equal to four 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 point four one milli ohms. So this is RTH. So now let me draw the equivalent circuit. So this is RTH and this is VTH. Here we have terminal A, B. So RTH is nothing but 444.41 and VTH is nothing but 5.333. So this is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thank you for watching.